Welcome back to another episode of Calculus. Today, we're going to look at a, a, a set of uh, numbers. It could be relation or function. And we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna look at the domain of the of the set of numbers, and we're also gonna look at um, whether or not this is a relation or just uh, this is a function or just a relation. So now let's look at those those numbers right here. So on the on on the left hand side we have the x values. So we have the x values on the on the left hand side. So um, let's see. So these are the x values. Oops. Nope. So these are the X values in blue right here. And these are also the X values. So notice that this could have been put right here, but to save space, they put it under um, in a different column. Again, we're using a um, OpenStax textbook to, 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 to do this. So now, what is the range? The range are all the y values. So if we know the domain is all the x values, the range is all the y values, the ones in purple right here. So the range is all the y values. So now let's see how we can write this in, you know, in set notation. In set notation. So what would you say the domain is in set notation? So we're gonna take all the x values and and tell them is the domain. It's called the domain D. It would be the set of all numbers. So we have one, two, three, zero. So we would start with zero. So one, two, three. So it looks like a zero, one, two, and three. So the way you write this is you start with the lowest number. Think of it as in you go in from in a number line. So you start with the smallest number all the way to the highest number. You also don't repeat those. So when you write in the set, you also don't repeat them. So there is one right here. There's one right here. I already accounted for this once, and that's the only time. I, that's the only. That's the, I only have to put it once. So, and it's the same thing for for the range. So if I'm if I move the screen up for a little bit, let's see. So if I'm if I want to know the range, R in purple, let me write it in purple. So we start the range, R would be the set of all numbers that makes up the range. So what are these numbers? So let's see. We have a negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, and then uh, one, two, three. Okay. So it looks like negative three is the smallest one. What comes next? Negative two. What comes next? Negative one. And then it's zero. And then it's one, it's two, and it's three. Yes. Okay. So that's it. That's all. That's all the numbers that makes up the range. Now, the last thing that we need to do is saying whether or not this is a function or just a relation. So now, let me give you a hint. So whenever you have the relation like this, you know they give you a set of x values and a set of y values that associated to the set, the set of x values. So what you want to do is look at the set of x values and see, hey, and let me see if I have any numbers that are repeated. If you have any numbers that are repeated on the x values, that means you not going to have a function. So I have one here is repeated. I have one here. I mean, let me go in a different color so you can see what I'm what I'm doing. So one here and this x of x on the set of x values, there's a one here. So that means that one and this one, they all gonna go to different numbers. And you cannot have that when you have a function. Each x values need to be associated to only one y value. So this one, it go into it goes to negative three, it also goes to one. So that means this is not a function, it's just a relation. So just a relation. This is not a function. And then same thing for two, two goes to negative two, two goes to two. That doesn't make it a function. So it, it wouldn't pass the vertical line test. Same thing for, I believe three, three goes to negative one, it also goes to three. That doesn't make it, a, that makes it not a function. Yeah, that's it. And that's all you have to do for this one.